everyone, I am Deepak Kunyal and I welcome you to the series of tutorials on placement preparation for computer science and engineering students. So till now we have discussed a lot of things. We briefly discussed about compilation phases of a C or C++ program. Then we talked about source file creation or its representation in a sky format in detail. Then we talked about pre-processing phase and there we discussed about inline functions and macros in more depth. Now before we move to another step, let us talk a interesting problem and that is write a C program without using main function. Can you do so? So conceptually a C program is meaningless without main function. Every program must have a main function because it is the entry point of a C program and all predefined or user defined function are called directly or indirectly through the main. But if you want to write it without using main function in source file, there are three approaches to it. The first approach that we are going to see here is using token pasting operator or we can also say that token merging operator. Okay, so how we are going to use this write has define begin m then use token pasting operator a token pasting operator i token pasting operator n and then you can write int begin and here is the main function without using main so technically we are writing main but if you want to write it in source file without writing main explicitly here is the answer second answer to this problem is using augmented macro. So how can we use the augmented macro? Again you can write has define then begin as we are using begin function in place of main and then you can again use this part this token pasting operator at this place okay I will not write it again after this you can use has define start then call begin from this and at the end you can again write a function with the name start so what you are doing you are calling start which will write begin in place of this and then begin will again write main and this will concatenate everything and it will begin and it will become int main. So you are doing same thing uh, but you are not writing main explicitly. And third thing is you can use something like this hash define which is simplest of these hash define begin and begin will be replaced by main everywhere and then you can write int begin so here are three approaches that allows us to write a C program without using main function. So this is how the first phase of compilation process works. It modifies the original C program according to the directive that begin with hash character. For example, hash include stdo.h. This command in C program tells the program or tells the preprocessor to read content of the system header file stdo.h and insert it directly into the program text as I have shown you previously okay and that result into another program with a suffix dot i or dot ii clear you can see all the files or all the intermediate file using a command that I have already shown you if you are writing a C program or compiling a C program GCC will be the command otherwise for C++ you can write G++ and other option are same for both of them GCC hyphen save tabs and then name of file if it is hello.c write hello.c and after that if you want to give it a name which is a customized name of your own you can write hyphen o and hello this is the executable file okay so this flag is important here or this option is important here what it is doing it is saving temporary file in the current directory 
okay so i hope you got an idea how this program is working and how we are writing a c program without using main so technically it is not possible but still if you are asked somewhere how to write a c program without using main you can do so okay so with this lecture or with this interesting problem we are going to wind up this first phase of pre processing now from the next lecture onward we are going to talk about another phase that is compilation phase okay so till now if you have any doubt or query regarding any of these things you can always write your query in the comments and i will try to respond back as soon as possible so i hope this series is going to be helpful for you and i hope that you are liking the content if you are liking please subscribe the channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video till then thank you so much bye bye